So first, let's try to make solid solids. We said we can make solid solids if we start stacking 2D figures up. Let me start with a rectangle. If we stack rectangles up, what do we get? You get a cuboid. You call this figure as nothing but a cuboid. So you stack a lot of rectangles up, you get a cuboid. Now, one way to stack it is linearly, the way I stacked it. There could be another more fun way to stack it. We could stack them around in a circle. Imagine a rectangle here, and I keep stacking more rectangles in a circle around this. What do I get now? What do you see here? It's a cylinder, correct? So you start stacking rectangles up linearly, you get a cuboid. You stack them up in a circular fashion, you get a cylinder. Let's try a triangle. Let me take a right angle triangle here. If we stack up many right angle triangles together, what do you get? What do you get here? You get a prism. This is nothing but a prism. Can we stack them up in a circle? If you take the same triangle and stack up many triangles like this in a circular fashion, what do you get? You get a cone. With a rectangle, we got a cuboid and a cylinder. With a triangle, we got a prism and a cone. Let's try a circle. Let's take a circle, stack many circles up. What do you get? This is nothing but a cylinder. You get a cylinder again. So you could get a cylinder by stacking rectangles in a circular fashion or by stacking circles in a linear fashion. Correct? Go round with a rectangle or start with a round figure and then go straight. What if you rotate? What if you rotate this circle? If I take a circle and I actually imagine there's a Imagine we make a slit in between the circle and keep stacking a lot of circles circularly. What do you get? You'll end up with a sphere, right? So if you stack circles in a circular fashion, you get a sphere. So stacking different shapes gives us different kinds of solids. What if we stack hexagons together? Let's take a hexagon like this and stack several of these up together. What do you get? This is nothing but again a prism. This is again a prism. What is a prism? A prism is nothing but a solid where the figures that we have, the 2D figures that you have at the two ends are congruent and all of the other sides are actually rectangular. Inspect this. This side is a hexagon. Look at the opposite side. It's again a hexagon. Now turn it around and look at each of the other areas that are there. What are they? All of them are rectangles. So that is what you call a prism. That is what you call a prism, where the figures at the two ends are congruent, that is exactly the same, and all of the other others are rectangles. Now, these different areas that you see here, these are nothing but different areas, right? We have a name for these. We have a name for these areas. These areas are actually called as faces. We'll refer to them as faces. So, a prism is nothing but an object where the two end faces are congruent, and all of the other faces, the side faces or the lateral faces are rectangles. That is what a prism is. So this is nothing but a hexagonal prism. The previous prism that we saw was a triangular prism. So we saw that you can pick two dimensional areas and stack them up either linearly or circularly to get solids. And these are going to be solid solids because we've stacked it up, right? So they're completely filled up. Let's see now how can we form hollow solids. Again, we are just going to use two-dimensional areas. Much fewer of them actually. Because the hollow solid is going to be hollow inside. It just has air inside it. Now, if I was to form the same cuboid that we saw earlier, rather than taking rectangles and stacking them up, another way I could do it is take just six rectangles and actually join them together. So, I take six rectangles. I put one here, two here. 3 here, 4 here, 5 on top, and 6 below. That's it. I have the same cuboid. So I can take, it's hollow inside. It's not filled up inside. So I took 6 rectangles, joined them together, and got the same cuboid. Similarly, for the prism, I can take 2 right angle triangles, keep them this way, and 3 rectangles. Put 1 rectangle here, 1 rectangle here, and 1 rectangle below. We have a prism. We have a triangular prism, which is hollow, which is formed of two triangles and three rectangles. So what you see is that all of these solids, right? All of these three-dimensional solids, be they hollow or solid, are actually formed of two-dimensional figures, right? You saw a cube is actually formed of 
A cuboid is formed of six rectangles. 